Africa is filled with lots of interesting and beautiful birds. Beautiful to us, I guess, and not so much to the small insects and other living beings these guys eat. Birds are excellent hunters and often don't get the respect they deserve for their amazing skills. Let's take a look at the smallest raptor or bird of prey in Africa, the pygmy falcon. I spotted this bird while at Samburu Park in Kenya. It is found throughout eastern and southern Africa. This bird was probably about 8 inches tall. It will be looking to kill its next meal, which could be insects, small lizards, or even small rodents. It will fly above its prey, then drop down quickly with a lot of force. It also seems to have this small bird syndrome, and be a bully as it will take over nests that weaver birds have built. I was excited to have found this bird only a few feet away from the jeep. We then drove past the lake and we saw some interesting water birds. One of my favorites was hunting alongside some storks, the African Spoonbill. Now they get that name obviously because of the spoon-like beak they have. They'll use that beak to go back and forth in the water and try to pick up some small fish or snails to swallow. As we drove away, we saw something just past this herd of elephants. When they had passed, there it was, one of my favorite birds, the secretary bird. Now the secretary bird is quite large, it can be four feet tall with the wingspan well over six feet. They are often found on the savannas. They hunt mostly on the ground, looking for snakes, lizards, and other small birds to eat. Now they'll catch up to this prey and jab their sharp beak right into them, or they can pounce on them. This pouncing feature, in some scientists' minds, relates this bird to similar prehistoric animals that roamed these plains over five million years ago. In the evening, they'll roost up in a tree. That's a beautiful nest. It can only nest in large open areas, so we always want to maintain a good amount of habitat for these animals to thrive in. Now you may be able to see why some would call this the secretary bird, as it looks like it has a few pens tucked behind its head. But there are other possible reasons listed in this video's description. Be sure to check those out, and thanks for watching.